this week on Forward. I don't believe you can underestimate just the power of peace of mind. You know, we have a healthcare system that says, you know what, don't go looking. You're normal until you present with some sort of acute symptoms. And now, guess what? You have advanced X, um, whatever that happens to be. And, you know, these exams could be two, three, four hundred dollars in the not too distant future. And obviously, the cheaper they are, the more likely they are to be within someone's budget and the more likely they are to be covered by insurance as well. It is my pleasure to welcome to the podcast the founder and CEO of the healthcare technology company, Pranov. Oh my God, I have to say it right. The founder and CEO of this new healthcare technology company, Pranuvo, Andrew Lacey. Welcome, Andrew. Thanks. It's awesome to be here. So I first found out about your company as a user, uh, and uh, it's awesome. I have to say, I'm, I'm excited for this convo in part because I think it might save someone's life. Uh, but tell my listeners, what the heck is Pranuvo? So Pranuvo is a whole body screening company. We use advanced research grade MRI machines that we build in Europe and ship over here. Um, we, in 45 minutes, are able to take clinical diagnostic images of the entire body and screen for cancer at stage one, for aneurysms before they burst, and for hundreds of other conditions that, if not caught early, end up being chronic conditions that can burden our healthcare system and lead to worse outcomes for patients. Yeah, so I get I I found this as a customer, and I want to give everyone a backdrop and context. So, a couple of months ago, I lost a friend to cancer, uh, and it was quite sudden. Um, he um, had esophageal cancer, stage four, when it was caught. He went to the ER uh, because he was having trouble eating and keeping down food. Uh, he was told mm. by the doctors that he had two to four weeks to live, and he passed away three weeks later. Uh, so wow. this was incredibly sad, dramatic, traumatic, jarring. Uh, and my wife and I went to his memorial service and my wife turned to me and said, we're going to get a whole body scan. Uh, and so that we then reached out to various companies to figure out, okay, who's doing this right now? Um, hooked up with Pranuvo. And one thing I do want to say is that uh, Pranuvo was excited to have me uh, use it so I could speak about it. And so uh, I, I did get uh, complimentary screening in a way that is not uh, something that, uh, you know, is obviously customary because ordinarily, you know, it, 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 there's a cost attached to it. Um, so my wife and I went to a Pranuvo screening facility in New York uh, and you lie down in a machine. Um, there are some noises and whirs. Uh, it was about an hour as I recall. And you watch Netflix the whole time. Like in my case, you're just lying still and watching Netflix, I have to say, was something um, uh, of a pleasure. <laughs> you, like, you don't really think of, you know, full body screening as something you're going to enjoy. But um, uh, I did enjoy it. And then a number of days later, I had a consultation with someone telling me about my findings. Well, first, the findings were sent to me. Um, and obviously, you're a little bit nervous and you click on it. And then, uh, then an appointment is set up for you to review your findings with a professional who then calls and says, okay, this is what we found. 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 Um, I, I will say, you know, if there's any suspense out there, I got a clean bill of health um, that they did tell me about a few things that were developing that I should keep an eye on. Um, but I have to say that I came away thinking, wow, that was uh, an extraordinarily positive experience. Yeah, no, thanks for sharing and uh, letting folks know sort of what the actual experience is like. It, it is pleasant. Um, we try and make it as comfortable as possible. You know, a consequence of our very reactive healthcare system is that we only ever associate negative health outcomes from ever setting foot inside a medical facility. And we wanted to create an environment where healthcare wasn't something that was scary, where being diagnosed with disease wasn't something that was necessarily life altering because you know, we are able to see so many things that could affect you so early that it can really um, make a massive difference in terms of outcomes for patients. It's uh, it, And it's a pretty comprehensive scan. There's almost no stone left unturned. 
I hope one day maybe this would be a um, one day this is a requirement for running for president is you get one of these scans and then we could sort of put to bed all of the com- conversation about whether someone's healthy or not. Well, you know, I, I'd be happy to share my results as it turns out, though, you know, may, maybe, um, you know, I, I wouldn't feel that way if I was uh, one of one of the candidates. So if you want to give people um, a sense as to how you got to this point, because developing uh, this offering must have been a lot of work, a lot of resources. What's your background and how did you wind up founding Pranuvo? Well, for me, it started with asking a question that a lot of people start asking in their 40s, particularly those of us that work hard and are perhaps not looking after ourselves because we're investing in a better future. And I remember waking up one day and looking in the mirror and saying, you know, just asking myself this very honest question, you know, how do I know I'm going to be around for that future? And I, 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 that sent me on my own personal journey to learn more about my health and and, and in that journey, I ran into a gentleman who was doing these screenings up in uh, Vancouver, Canada, of all places. So I got on a plane, I did a scan, and I just learned more about my health, uh, you know, in that hour than the health system had told me in my entire life. And, and for me, it became my mission from that moment to find a way to bring this to as many people as possible. Um, the technology itself is kind of new, but not new. It's, it's not new in the sense that if you're one of a very small number of people that have a genetic cancer predisposition to syndrome where you will get cancer multiple times in your life and it's just a question of you know where and when, um, these screenings are done in hospitals. They cost fifty dollars to $100,000 and they take three to four hours. And so the real innovation here is the hardware that we use enables us to take those same screenings in about now 45 minutes. And um, no one wants to sit in an MRI for three hours, no matter how much Netflix they have to watch. Um, uh, but 45 minutes is very tolerable. And it really sort of enabled this market for generalized screening um, for people that may have normal risk and just want to get on top of health conditions before it's too late. Uh, so when was your Vancouver experience? What year was that? That was 2018. So I've been at it now for five or six years. So you come from away from that screening saying, wow, I learned so much about my health. How can I bring this to more people? Um, and then you found a, a way to try and make the offering more cost efficient, more cost effective, less time consuming. Um, when were the first real customers for Pranuvo? What year was that? We started screening people in 2018. So we were, we've been do- at this for some time and the founding radiologist had been doing these scans for 10 years before. So our first screening was 2009. So we've been at it for a long time. Um, we expanded into the U S during COVID. Um, we're now in 11 locations. We have just thousands of people that credit us with saving their lives. And yet, obviously we still face a skeptical healthcare system and, um, you know, we're working really hard to change, you know, hearts and minds so that doctors and eventually the insurance system and the healthcare system will embrace these types of screenings because our experience has been they save lives. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to follow and subscribe. So you referenced the cost. You said a full MRI, uh, which I've never had, uh, you know, in terms of like, you know, like uh, as a result of a hospital visit, Um, you're saying it might cost uh, $50,000 plus. Um, So I I have the sense that here's the way the average American interacts with the healthcare system. They avoid it like the plague as much as they can. And then if something goes wrong within them, then they wind up as part of the system. And then if they the doctors don't know what the heck is going on. Then they say, okay, we're going to need you to get an MRI. It's not the first resort. It's kind of a, you know, not quite the last resort. It's sort of like a close to last resort um, in part because I don't think they want to incur the cost. Um, The insurance companies will cover the cost, the very expensive cost of this MRI. And so the average consumer never actually has to think like, oh, like, should I get an MRI? And if if they were to get one, it would be cost prohibitive. You'd only get one if uh, your doctor was deeply concerned about something to a point where they thought it was a good idea, um, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So when you were thinking, okay, let me get this out to the public, 
what did you what well, what does it cost now and then what is the goal yeah it's, i mean it's a great question and a great observation i'm a, i unfortunately i'm attracted to very difficult challenges and i think um this is definitely one of those the cost of the screening for cancer is $999 and for the entire body where we screen for you know hundreds of other diseases as well is $2499 so it's perhaps less expensive than people think um we think it's great value for what you get. We're screening every region of interest in your body for maybe twenty or thirty dollars. So we screen for pancreatic cancer for twenty dollars. We screen for lung cancer for twenty dollars. But of course, the cost is still expensive enough that it's out of reach for a lot of folks. Um, and there are a lot of folks that can afford it that don't necessarily want to know what's going on with their health. So there's this is a difficult challenge because there's human psychology involved. Um, uh, you know, we don't always want to know, um, even though we wish we would knew if we got caught with something late. Uh, we wish it, we would wish it we knew earlier. And then on the institutional side, I think there's a lot of questions about, well, this is expensive. You know, can we afford to do this for everyone at the population level? And there really the challenge is we think about this as only incremental technology. Um, we believe that if we had a world where we were diagnosing everything early, everything downstream, all of the clinical care pathways would look totally different. Um, and we would have a leaner and meaner healthcare system, maybe twice the size, um, you know, and it would be focused on keeping people healthy rather than, you know, spending an awful amount of money trying to keep very sick people alive a little bit longer. And um, and in the context of the U.S. economy, I mean, you can't fix the economy without fixing healthcare in the long run just because of so many people, so many baby boomers retiring and add demands on healthcare just going up year on year. Yeah, the healthcare system is getting more and more costly every year. I believe it's about up to about 17 percent of the economy. Now, uh, our outcomes are not getting any better. Um, there are people who hear $2,500 for the full body scan and think, wow, that's a lot. And then there are some other people who hear, who hear $2,500 and say, huh, like that's not as much as I thought it was going to be. Um, like, yeah. well, what is the long range target? Um, uh, it, like, could it become less expensive over time if you are, quote unquote, like at scale or that there, there are some efficiencies? Yeah, there's really three things that bring the cost down, and we're working on all three. The first is to shorten the time it takes to acquire these images. Um, when we first started, it took almost two hours, and now it takes 45 minutes. And the long-term goal is this is a 15-minute exam. And these machines are expensive, and so wow. time in the machine becomes an important component. The second is um, just old-fashioned scale. Uh, some of the facilities we operate have more MRIs than any other facility in North America. So this is not a space that is sort of operating at scale yet. Um, and scale will bring down cost. And then the third piece is really AI. And um, here uh, we're working on AI models that can help our radiologists be more productive. And maybe in the future, we may not need radiologists for some parts of the exam. Uh, and we think the combination of these three mean that, you know, these exams could be two, three, four hundred dollars $400 in the not too distant future. And obviously the cheaper they are, the more likely they are to be within someone's budget, and the more likely they are to be covered by insurance as well. If you could get it down to five hundred dollars in twenty minutes, let's say, oh my gosh, <laughs> at, at that point, uh, it, it would become very, very customary, I think. Uh, and there, there are many situations where, even at the current price point, it makes a world of sense. This podcast is sponsored by Helix Sleep. I've been a mattress guy since my 20s because I always figured if you're gonna do something for almost a third of your life, you should try and do it right, that anything you invest in a mattress, you'll get back many times over in terms of health, energy, and productivity. But Helix Sleep wasn't around way back then. I really wish it were. Imagine getting a personalized mattress shipped straight to your door, free of charge, just take the Helix Sleep Quiz, I was matched with a Dawn mattress because I wanted something that felt firm and I sleep on my back. Now, how do you sleep? Go to the Helix Sleep Quiz. Tell them and then you can get a mattress sent to your door for a 100 night free trial, I know, with a 10 or 15 year warranty. Don't take my word for it, Helix has been awarded the number one mattress pick by GQ 
in Wired Magazine. Helix is offering up to 30% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash yang. That's helixsleep.com slash yang. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. So I'm, I'm going to delve a little bit more into the results I got just because it's fun or maybe people are interested. I mean, listeners might, might want to know. So the, the level of detail is staggering. Like they, like they, they tell you about what's going on inside you in a way that you're like, what? Um, so I'll give you an example of something they told me. They told me that, um, that there are a lot of crevices in my large intestine, so I should drink a lot of water uh, because the, there might be things that get stuck. And I thought, well, that seems like very good practical advice. I probably should drink more water. <laughs> like, you know, uh, so I've been hydrating better since. Um, there was a, another thing where they said, look, it's probably nothing, but there's a little bit of a uh, uh, fatty liver deposit uh, like that that we noticed on your liver. Sounds delicious. Um, but, they, but, but then they said, could be nothing, but, you know, you might want to drop a few pounds um, and then I, I heard that and thought, like, I probably should drop a few pounds. <laughs> like, oh, that, that's very good. Um, they noticed a few uh, long-term trouble spots uh, in my upper back and lower back, which are, you know, I think like most middle-aged guys, like, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of stiffness here and there. And they're like, it's not, well, it's not really bad now, but you might want to try and improve some of your ergonomics or, or um posture uh, to try and keep that from getting worse. One of the things that was mildly entertaining to me was they said that they, they found um, mild stretching of the ligaments and uh, degeneration of my shoulders that I think is a result of the fact that I lifted a lot of weights. Like I did a lot of weight training when I was younger hmm. because so there was a lot of, uh, uh, <laughs> of lying on the bar with every weight. It was like, so I said, it's on both sides. They said, yeah, it's on both sides. And I was like, I think it's just because I was a little bit too into uh, my pectoral muscles when I was younger. Um, so that, so these are some of the things that they, they picked up. Um, and uh, they said, Hey, come back in two years. Uh, we can see how things are developing. Um, which also was kind of a good feeling. It's like, Oh, clean bill of health. No, like, no, no problem. Some practical guidance where, you know, uh, lose, lose a few pounds and drink some more water. It's like, okay, I can do these things. I, you know, <laughs> but the, the reassurance I've felt since has been, um, significant where like, I, I know what's going on inside me. I mean, like I got the all clear on, uh, you know, d just about, um, all of my systems. There are a lot of situations where if you can imagine catching, uh, something, um, X months or years earlier that even now at the current cost, it would be, I mean, obviously on a human level, like, you know, if you have a loved one or, or you yourself are at that point, it's like you catch it early. Uh, what's that worth to you? You know, like what, what, you know, and, and one of the reasons why I'm happy to have this conversation is um, I'm sure your company is saving lives uh, all the time because people are catching things that they otherwise would not catch until they're in the hospital and, and the doctors are trying to um, play Sherlock Holmes and figure out what, ha what what's going on. I mean, oftentimes when people ask me my sort of founder story, they expect that there's going to be, you know, this technology found cancer and I, now this is why this is my mission. But to be honest, I, I just really, I don't believe you can underestimate just the power of peace of mind. And, you know, we have a healthcare system that says, you know what, don't go looking, you're normal until you present with some sort of acute symptoms. And now guess what? You have advanced X, um, whatever that happens to be. And Meanwhile, as individuals, we feel aches and pains from time to time. You know, you may have felt a metal fame pain in your shoulder or some pain in the abdomen. And um, there's always that little voice saying, well, what if that, you know, what if that was the same thing that someone else had? Or, you know, what if this is something life threatening and my doctor's not paying attention to it? So these scans are sort of a great equalizer because we will catalog everything regardless of whether you feel any symptoms, regardless of whether you feel like it's normal or not, um, regardless of whether your doctor is willing to listen to you and do further investigations. And um, ultimately, we we provide a catalog of whatever we see and then empower the patient to do, you know, to basically take their health into their own hands. And I believe that's the future because no one cares about your health more than yourself. Um, and, and consumers are smart today. They do a lot of research. And um, I'm sure when you got your report, the first thing you did was you went to Google or, you know, chat GPT and, um, 
and uh, went to work to see what you could learn about yourself. Yes, that I'm healthy as a horse. That's what the <laughs> clinical report said. No, I'm kidding. Hey all, if you know me, you know I'm not that handy in the kitchen and I have become a huge believer and booster of Factor. Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals make eating a joy. It's so fast, you just pop that thing two minutes later and you are eating a restaurant quality, healthy meal making you feel excellent about yourself. My favorite is the turkey chili with zucchini and there is so much more to choose from. You never get tired of it. It fits any budget. It's fast, healthy. It is going to be the new factor in your life. Yes, I'm a fan. Head to factormeals.com slash yang50 and use code yang50 to get 50% off your first box and two free wellness shots per box while subscription is active. That's code yang50 at factormeals.com slash yang50 to get 50% off your first box. Get Factor today. It's going to change the way you eat. You talk about this being covered, um, and there are a lot of people watching or listening to this right now who are thinking, ooh, I actually should try and get a scan either for myself or for a loved one, but then feel very daunted by the cost. Uh, what does that world look like in terms of trying to get it covered? And what I'm thinking is that, you know, that there might be certain systems that say, okay, when you're a certain age, if you're like uh, showing certain symptoms and like maybe this makes sense. Um, and I want to preface this by saying that uh, the American healthcare system is a pain point for so many people. Uh, it, it's uh, overly bureaucratic. It, it, it doesn't... Um, prioritize prevention, uh, you know, like uh, someone said that it's not a healthcare system, it's a sick care system. Um, and it's designed to try and maximize revenue <laughs> on the, 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 the back end. Uh, um, so what does getting this covered even look like? Well, in the medium term, you know, every patient that comes in is a data point for us in the evidence that we need to collect to show that these scans are um clinically accurate and can, you know, provide benefit at population level. So uh, we follow up with patients, usually a year after the scan, we ask them, how did it go? Those things we saw, did you do any, did you do the checkups we suggested? What was the result? And we do this, I mean, it's kind of cool. No one expects their doctor to call them up a year later and actually just proactively ask them how they're doing. That's a pretty rare thing these days. But at the same time, it really helps us understand, you know, where are we doing well? Where can we do better? How can we adjust the way that we read these scans so that we can be more and more accurate every time and collect evidence that these scans are, you know, uh, equivalent to or maybe even better than uh, in terms of accuracy than some of the scans that are covered as standard of care screening. And really, that's the goal. And, and I believe we're not we're not six months away from that, but we're not five years away from that as well. Where you know we've collected already a good body of evidence that gives us a lot of faith that um, we'll be able to meet that evidentiary burden, and then um, hopefully work with politicians, which sort of at the end of the day this involves, to hopefully uh, have these screenings covered by Medicare and other programs as soon as possible for folks out there. There is a hack that I sort of would that there's worth mentioning, um, particularly for younger folks, which is. We've had a lot of people that were on comprehensive health plans, sort of your typical gold health plan, and they've said, "You know what? I'm going to do a I'm going to pay for a Pranuvo scan every year, and on the assumption that I'm healthy, I'm going to now be on a high deductible. So I'm going to save money by actually ha taking out a different type of insurance. And the, those high deductible plans, the HSA, FSA plans, you can play, pay for the scans through the contributions to those plans. So." That is one way that we see a lot of people these days um, incorporating these screenings as part of their annual health checkups. Wow, that that is a, a good hack. Um, it, it's a, and I think there's even a tax break involved uh, with that. So you get more data, you demonstrate that look, guys, we're catching stuff. Uh, and I, actually, so I have the healthy version, uh, but can you talk about some of the things that have happened where people have caught things earlier? Um, because that must be a very good feeling. Yeah, we have, we're a pretty mission-driven company. Um, and so 
we like to share, obviously, in a way that respects the anonymity and privacy of our patients. But we, whenever we get like a story of saving someone's life, we share that with the entire company. I want everyone to understand that the impact that they're having in their job, they may just be, you know, one small part of like a quite complex operation. But, you know, collectively, we are making this possible for people to get early diagnosis and save lives. So um, a lot of patients are excited to tell us about it. You see on social media, a lot of folks are sharing their stories uh, where we've made a life-saving diagnosis, and that in turn is helping to raise awareness of these exams. It's That's really the biggest challenge. The technology is incredible. It's getting better every day. And you know, our biggest challenge is just there's still too many people out there that don't even know that these this option exists. This podcast is sponsored by ExpressVPN. How did you choose which internet service provider to use? The sad thing is most of us didn't have much of a choice because ISPs operate a lot like monopolies in the regions that they serve. They then use this monopoly position to take advantage of customers. And yes, they even sell your data, your activities to advertisers and big tech companies and you don't see a dime. That's why I protect my internet surfing and devices with ExpressVPN. When you use ExpressVPN, it's like a magic portal to a perfectly safe and anonymous internet. And don't take my word for it. This is the number one VPN service according to CNET. It's used by major companies all over the world. So stop handing over your personal data to ISPs and other tech companies who then mine your activity and sell off your information. Protect yourself with a VPN I trust to keep my privacy online. Visit expressvpn.com slash yang. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S vpn.com slash yang to get three extra months free. Go to expressvpn.com slash yang right now to learn more. Uh, Well, hopefully this conversation will help a little bit uh, with that. I am a believer, and I I will say that the word is getting out because um, even when I spoke to some friends about it uh, briefly, they just said, oh, Pranuvo, um, where I I think your target market is uh, actually associating your company with this entire category uh, of scans. Uh, And I think you're just going to keep on growing um, because my experience was awesome. Uh, I think peace of mind is a good thing. I think knowledge is good. Uh, you know, don't like if, if someone has the, um, either the concern, um, uh, or maybe someone's concerned about them, uh, you know, it's an hour of your life. Um, it, it is expensive for a lot of people. I will say that there's some part of me that feels like, your company will thrive because our healthcare system is so jacked. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know if that's something that that uh, that that you and yours sense. Um, that I feel like you're part of this new wave of companies that's going to run around trying to solve a problem, um, and then uh, belatedly, our system will um, uh, end up incorporating you. And like right now, you're doing things the the hard way, but in some ways, like the the pure. Uh, way, which is you just getting the word out to real life human beings who decide that um, this is of value and then figure uh, you can build from there. Well, I think, you know, a big part of why this is important for us to be perfectly honest is we have a great healthcare system actually when you're diagnosed with something. There's probably no country in the world I would rather be in if I had serious illness, you know, because the, the quality of care in general is pretty good. Where we lack um, and where m- most countries, in fact, everywhere lack is in diagnosing things early. And I fundamentally believe that, um, you know, these need to be covered because this is a great equalizer um, because typically um, folks with more financial means have better preventive health. And if they have better preventive health, they catch things early, they get better outcomes. They live longer. They have, uh, you know, the, 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 they have a better health sure. span. And so if we can, you know, I fundamentally believe that there is no, better way to level the playing field than to make uh, preventative screening more widely available. Um, And, uh, you know, we're working on a big pilot project right now in in Boston where we're making it available to some folks 
that meet a social equity criteria so that we can really start to understand what the impact would be if we did, uh, if this was made available through insurance or through um, uh, government programs for folks that may not otherwise be able to afford these exams. Um, you know, how does their health look today and how would this really benefit them? I'm really excited for the results of that study. Well, I mean, it's clear to me that it's going to save money on the back end to know what the heck is going on inside of us because what happens if you just let something fester and linger? Uh, you, you wind up showing up at the ER uh, and then um, there, there is a lot of uh, belated countermeasures that people pursue. But if you wind up spending an, a day in the hospital, incredibly expensive. Uh, you know, if you find, uh, find yourself like in really dire straits, incredibly expensive. I mean, uh, if, if you can catch this early, especially the way our system works. I mean, you know, you're going to end up spending uh, tens, hundreds of thousands of dollars as soon as someone winds up in that hospital. So if you can keep someone out of the hospital, <laughs> it, it would be that you, you can assign very, very significant numbers. And uh, as a society, we will end up saving money just about every time. Well, and we don't, and we don't even speak about the, you know, what's the cost of a human life. And, you know, if we're, if through these technologies and other technologies, we could all live. Yeah. Loved ones. Not being able to spend time totally. We could all live like three, you know, three, four, five, six years longer. I don't speak about living to two hundred like other folks in the space do. I mean, that, you know, what does that mean for time we can spend with families, for productivity, for the economy, for, you know, um, delaying drawdown of retirement savings? I mean, I think it's an incredible goal, and you know, we're already behind the rest of the world when it comes to longevity. So maybe these technologies could be part of the answer. The great equalizer, indeed. Know what's going on inside of people. Catch things. Live longer. Enjoy lives. Uh, you know, spend time with our loved ones. Um, again, uh, you know, I'm I'm an admirer and a believer uh, in what you all are doing. If people want to find out more about Pernuvo and uh, maybe find a location um, that that's somewhere near them, how can they best do so? So if they go to pernuva.com, uh, they'll see all the locations that are both open and are opening soon. We have 11 open locations in sort of the the major metropolitan areas in the US. And then there's another 20 or so that we're opening in the next 18 months. There's also a team of people there manning our chat. Um, we are old fashioned. We have a phone number on the screen. If someone would like to call and talk to a real person and understand whether the scan's right for them, we would just want to be as helpful a resource as possible and and uh, hopefully people avail themselves of the technology. You know, and, and if as someone wants a discount to Pernuvo, you can use the, the discount code forward. It's pernuvo.com slash forward for a $300 discount. Get it down to 2200 Look at that. Uh, just trying to make it um, uh, accessible and help them we can. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, obviously still um, a significant investment, but, you know, so is your health, so is your life. Pernuvo.com slash forward for a $300 discount. Well, keep on building, man. You're saving lives. Uh, and uh, I, I'm a happy customer. Um, you know, uh, I'll see you guys in two years. <laughs> but but awesome. by then you'll be everywhere because, it, because it's clear that, uh, that the demand is there and that people can see the benefits. Congratulations, really, Andrew. Thank you. And thanks for having me here. And I look forward in two years to seeing that uh, liver without the foie gras in there. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll help it up between now and then. Awesome. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.